Hello. Welcome to Acoustic Spotlight, the program that features musicians performing in an acoustic setting. I'm your host, Rich Petrak. Today's spotlight falls on a singer-songwriter from Deland, Florida, Roberto Aguilar from the band Dish.
We're back with Roberto Aguilar from the band Dish. Hey, Roberto. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming down. No problem. Uh, she was. That's a bit of a dark song. Yep. Can you uh, talk about it a little bit? Um, it's uh, basically just about a, uh, um, a cult that I, I found out about. I was reading in a newspaper, and it's really interesting. And, uh, and I've grown up in, in the church my whole life, so I'm familiar with um, some of the struggles with an organized religion. So it just kind of reflects that. So. Do you, uh, for, for the songs, you know, that you write, are they all based on, you know, personal experiences or? Not necessarily. I'm, I really want to try to, I like studying different songwriters. I like some songwriters that tell stories and some of them uh, have really obscure lyrics and some of them are very straightforward. So um, I try to take a swing at all different types of songwriting, if I can. Yeah. So. I mean, I've said this story once before on the show, but somebody, but this one guy, Richard Schindel, has this song about a, um, a Kenworth truck, driving mm -hmm. a Kenworth truck, you know? And, yeah. and uh, I asked him once, I said, is that, you know, did you really do that? And he said, he said metaphorically, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he never really did, but it's, it, so, it sounds so personal. Yeah. yeah, that kind of drives me crazy after a while. I mean, I, I like metaphors, but sometimes you want to, I'd rather someone just lie to me and tell me that it, it, re <laughs> it really did happen. <laughs> it just sounds cooler, you know, so. But I won't lie to you. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, when did you start writing? Uh, I think probably about the same time I picked up a guitar. Uh, it's about uh, probably 13 years old. And uh, I think the only reason why I kept with it <clears throat> was because I thought I was a lot better than I really was, you know. Um, <laughs> And then, of course, the first time you hear yourself on a, when you record yourself for the first time and you hear back, you're like, wow, that's horrible, you know. But um, it's just always been that experience of recording and listening to myself. And, of course, being around other great songwriters is, is amazing, too. So. Well, it sounds good. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, what did you use, uh, you know, when you first did that? What were you recording on? Oh, like one of those boom boxes with a little, you know, um, tape cassette and it had a little hole where the mic the was. The mic built in. Yeah, yeah, it sounded really bad. Actually, it's probably hip now to do that, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, there's probably some releases out there done yeah. exactly that way. They're yeah. probably going for like five times what they cost now. Those yeah. boom boxes, you know, with a little hole for a mic. Now, you, you record under the name Dish and play under that name, right? Not your your solo name, generally? Um, well, Dish has been my, my main project recently. Um, and things have changed up a little bit so I'm gonna keep on doing that and I'm, I'm gonna release a solo record that I'm working on but I haven't decided uh, what I'm gonna release it under my real last name uh, when I did my genealogy was is Badani so I thought about using that or you know I thought about doing what Cat Stevens did you know and coming up with a cool stage name but <laughs> I'm still figuring that out so yeah. I'll, I'll let you know when I figure it out all right <laughs> well in the meantime uh, how about doing another song sure all right, what are you going to do? Uh, this next one's going to be called uh, uh, Closer Dead. All right, well, we'll be right back in a minute with another song from Roberto Aguilar. I could be your eyes If I could be your skin If I could be the veins The blood that flows within I'd reach inside your heart Watch you make a choice Feel you breathe the air 
had a poison tongue And she left that taste in my mouth And all I ever do is run from love But she got me on the streets I'm looking for a fix, y'all gone in We're back with Roberto Aguilar. Well, that was the first for Acoustic Spotlight, a couple of electric numbers. Yep. Not as drastic as uh, Dylan, maybe, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you when you write songs, do you sit down specifically, like, say, with the electric in mind, or do you, do you write everything on an acoustic first? Or? Um, no, usually um, almost every different instrument that I pick up kind of has a song in it, you know? Um, so... Even a different, I have another acoustic guitar and it just sounds different, so different songs will come out of that. So it's just, they're just textures and they help me write songs. But um, I was using a baritone guitar, so that uh, has a really nice, nice sound to it. And uh, it kind of fit for a lot of the songs that I wanted to write, write them on, so. So you sit down with it and then kind of just? Usually, so, sometimes I'll, I'll write a song on one instrument and I think it might sound good on another one. I just try to uh, try everything, you know, and um. I read everything's a different texture, so I try I try everything out, and I'm always try experimenting with that. So, now we don't happen to have a copy of your CD, but there there is a, a dish CD that's out. Mm -hmm. And what's the title of that? Oh wow, um, <laughs> you made me say that. <laughs> Ma raison de vivre ton amour, which in French is my reason to live your love, mm -hmm. and uh, that's um, you can get that at ROARecords.com or MySpace.com/slash/dishtheband, and also. Uh, at fanatic productions promotions fanatic promotions dot com slash dish well I don't have all that memorized but <laughs> it's all there they'll so, flash it yeah. up there and yeah. it's also in local stores so yeah and, and that that would have uh, had either the MySpace or the other site is where uh, you can get a schedule see where you're playing right and right this MySpace is the best place to go so and it's like that yeah Definitely. now yeah. now when you're playing you sometimes will have other people accompany. You used to play with your brother and other yeah, band and members. Yeah, and sometimes we'd have uh, horn players and um, my friend Lars Fadal, who's been on this show actually, you know, he'd play. So I'm always trying to get different people to come up and and um, and ha have every show a little bit different, different dynamics and different sounds. So uh, you're you're from uh, Delan? Mm -hmm. Um, I've lived there for the last eight years. Oh, okay. I'm originally from Damascus, Maryland. Oh, okay. And I came down here for school, and I've just kind of been here ever since. So. Stayed, yeah. yeah, yeah, and you mentioned Loris and Loris Vidal, and he's he has been yeah on the program, and mm -hmm. uh, you're in that area with him, right, where he lives up, yeah, in the vicinity. Yeah, for yeah. the most part, he's he's out of Gainesville now, and uh, he's just been traveling and doing the musician thing, living out of his car, you know. But basically, that's where we met, and that's kind of where uh, our, our music scene kind of started. Well, I appreciate you coming down. The songs were great, Thanks. and. Uh, I wish we had some more time to talk. Maybe next time we can uh, we can meet yeah. again. Um, but how about doing one more for us before we go? Sure. All right. No what are you gonna do? 
Uh, this one's called Letter to You. Letter to You. All yeah. right. Okay, well, we'll be right back with one more song from Roberto Aguilar from the band Dish. Well, that's our program for today. I'd like to thank Roberto Aguilar for dropping by. Thanks to the crew, and thank you for tuning in. We'll hear one more from Roberto, and then we'll see you next time on Acoustic Spotlight. See what they don't like Cause there's always someone who let you down Even if it's